Thanks for joining me for this video. So let's go ahead and talk about what's coming to Shutter for June. Um, I'm putting this up like the day before, so we're getting into June really, really quick here. Um, so I'm going to go through it, just all the stuff that's supposed to be dropping in, on Shutter in June. And with some um, descriptions of some of the films, because a lot of the films you're not going to necessar necessarily know what they are. Excuse me, I have to adjust my sitting here. Um, and so I'll just give you like the little synopsis they gave me, because I do get press releases from Shutter. I signed up for it. Uh, so one of the first things, um, they, they're having some podcasts, actually, they're doing a bunch of original podcasts, which I, I'm not going to cover those cause I'm, you know, I listen to podcasts. I don't put them on TV and watch them. I mean, you could run it through the shutter app on your phone and do it that way, which I don't know, maybe I will, but this is about the films. So I'm just going to talk about those. So there's a shutter exclusive coming, uh, Thursday, June 6th, and it's going to be one called boar. Yes. It's a, the creature, a boar, um, so Bruce is having a hard enough time relating to his new Australian stepfamily and their rough outback town. And that's before the arrival of murderous rampaging pig the size of a minivan shows up to, to wreak havoc. It's man versus monstrous beast in this wild, raucous creature feature. Sounds fun. I do like a nice creature feature here and there. I might check that one out. Uh, yeah, then they're, they're the one of their original Shutter podcasts has Elijah Wood involved with it, so I don't know if people want to check that out. It, that's starting on June 3rd. I'm not going to go into it. They, it looks like they actually do have some really good guests, though, like Taika Waititi, John Landis, Mike Flanagan, um, Panos Cosmatos for some people. I don't like that guy, but it's a whole thing I'm not going into right now, but you can ask me down in the comments if you want to. Um, okay, so available Thursday... Uh, June 20th. This is one I've heard actually a lot about. This is a film that I read about in my Rue Morgue magazine, and it got a very good review in there, so I'm very excited for this one. So Thursday, June 20th, Knife and Heart. Uh, Anne produces third-rate gay porn. Oh, sorry, getting a phone call. I'm going to faux pas. Uh, Anne, <laughs> Anne produces third-rate gay porn. After her editor and lover Louise leaves her, she tries to win her back by shooting her most ambitious film, yet with her trusted flaming sidekick Archibald. But one of her actors is brutally murdered, and Anne gets caught up in a strange investigation that turns her life upside down. An ultra-stylish and blood-soaked ode to 70s-era De Palma, Argento, and Friedkin, shot on 35mm and featuring a killer retro score from M83. That sounds great. So many things about that sound great, especially with the comparisons they've made with Friedkin, De Palma, Argento, Sounds good. I'm excited. There's one called The Wild Boys, which is coming out Monday, June 17th on Shudder. Five adolescent boys are enamored by the arts, but drawn to crime and transgression. As punishment for a brutal crime, they're forced to board a boat whose captain is hell-bent on taming their ferocious appetites. After arriving on a lush island where dangers and pleasures, uh, where dangers and pleasures abound, the boys start to transform in both mind and body. Shot in gorgeous 16mm... Okay, I'm not going into that, but that sounds interesting. That's another one I might want to check out. Uh, then John Carpenter's Christine. If people don't know, it's just basically about a killer car. I did a review of the car that's on Shutter at the moment, so you might want to check that out. But this is kind of similar, but, you know, better. The Haunted. Uh, malicious poltergeist haunt a Pennsylvania family who call upon paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren for help. Pretty succinct. June 1st. Oh, those were all coming May 27th. So that, those actually are on there right now. They just included it in here because they didn't include it in their update for May, which I did not do. So those, so Christine and The Haunted are currently available. Uh, June 1st, The Exorcist. That needs no explanation. Everyone knows The Exorcist. I think I'm probably going to watch that just as a rewatch because it's been a while. Uh, Ghost Story. Fred Astaire stars in this terrifying story of the chowder society a group that gathers weekly to share tales of terror or tales of horror but is invaded by a real life ghost that is part of their past that sounds interesting uh the phantom of the paradise okay this is one that i was actually talking on one of my uh bambox horror unboxing videos within the past few months that i've heard the phantom of the paradise is really good and i've been meaning to watch it so awesome that it's going to be on shutter so i definitely will check this out this is a de palma film by the way a gifted rock composer 
plots revenge after a grief, uh, devious record producer steals both his music and his girl. Brian De Palma's insightful satire on the 1970s music scene delivers a rock opera take on the classic Phantom of the Opera story. So, sounds good. I'm going to check that out. Ravenous. Um, this is a film I've seen before. I do like this one. Soldiers stationed in the barren and icy Sierra Nevada mountains during the Mexican-American War have a close encounter with cannibalism. Yeah, you don't need to know that much more going into it. Uh, June 10th. These are the ones coming out June 10th. Hagazusa. In a remote alpine village in the 15th century, the orphan Albrun grows up to become a marked woman, the scapegoat of ancient superstitions and monstrous misogyny. This self-styled witch begins to assert her otherworldly birthright. The plague she conjures makes human cruelty look pathetic and small by comparison. This at atmospheric debut feature from Lucas Fiegelfeld is a haunting pagan death trip and a startling vision of psychedelic horror. Sounds very interesting. Uh, I assume, based on that guy and the cast, that it's probably a foreign language film, so probably subtitles, which I have no problem with. Most people um, have some sort of opinion on it. Next, Here Comes the Devil. This is a film I have seen before, actually. It's pretty solid. I didn't love it as much as I wanted to, but it's solid. Two children go missing while on a family trip near caves in Tijuana. The kids reappear the next morning without explanation, but it becomes clear that they are not who they used to be. And that something terrifying has changed them. All right. Uh, now, June 17th, we're getting the film The Wailing, which I've heard good things about. Uh, and I've been meaning to check this one out, so I'll watch this one. In this unbelievably tense, tense supernatural thriller, a foreigner's mysterious appearance in a quiet rural village causes suspicion among the locals. Suspicion which qu quickly turns to hysteria as the townspeople begin killing each other in brutal outbursts of seemingly no, for seemingly no reason. As the investigating officer watches his daughter fall under the same savage spell, he agrees to consult a shaman for answers, unknowingly escalating the situation into something for more, far more dangerous. That is, also, that is a foreign language film, I know. Uh, June 24th, you're going to get these next two films. and I, Actually, it's the, the last of what's on here. Uh, next of Kin. This film is a dedicated, <clears throat> says a dedicated Chicago cop with roots deeply embedded in the Appalachian backwoods is forced to put his loyalties to the test when the mob cruelty inflicts tragedy on his family, bringing about a violent clash of clans. Patrick Swayze's in it, and Liam Neeson. Sounds interesting. And Bill Paxton, and Helen Hunt. Wow, okay. Might have to see that on cast alone. <clears throat> and the last one is called Vi, V-I-Y. This looks like it's another foreign language film. Streaming only on Shudder, okay. A seminary student is forced to spend three nights praying for a young woman who has died, drawing him into a frightening twilight world where he is enticed and tormented by Satan's minions. Also sounds intriguing. I don't, th I don't think I read any of those that I'm like, eh, that doesn't sound interesting. I, I, I feel like I want to watch all of them, but I'm going to have to prioritize because I'm not going to have the time to watch all of them most likely. But this brings up, are there any particular ones on that list that you really want me to dive in in June and do a review, a non-spoiler review? If it's one that you've heard and you're like, you know, that kind of sounds like I might be interested in it, but I don't want to commit the time Maybe I can have this guy watch it for me and then do a no-spoiler review and let me know if I should watch it or not. That is an option. So go ahead, put some comments down there. Are there any of those that you're interested in? Also, hit that uh, subscribe, please. Literally takes like a second for you. It can mean a lot for my channel in the long run. So if there's anything you like about this video or any video you've seen on this channel, hitting that subscribe is a way to thank me and thank you if you do. Uh, hit the notification bell. That way you know anytime a new video comes up, you can come and check it out on my channel. And then go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to. But thank you so much for checking this out regardless. I'm excited for what's coming to Shudder. I'm, well, I'm excited about what's already on Shudder. I'm excited for what's coming every month to Shudder. So it's just an awesome service. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.